Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this video we will study a new example of render sets. Here's our shaver scene, included as a sample scene in the Maverick installer, which you can access from the start dialog. Let's configure our output settings first in the render panel. Let's enable render sets and pick PSD for the file format. In this scene there is no backdrop object, so we may disable the options concerning the backdrop. We will enable the add background as a layer option. As you can see, the scene comes carefully pre-organized, which is something that we strongly encourage you to do in your own scenes as well. In this case, careful organization allows us to use the auto assign IDs action, so each parent group and object receives an auto incremental ID. In the render sets list we will type in the keyword also all the IDs are rendered. Let's use draft render for a quick preview. We will see how each object renders detached from the rest. If we open up the output file in Photoshop we will see how render sets are conveniently arranged as groups and layers. Now say that we want to change the metallic material and render it separately. Since this material belongs to an object that is nested in a group, we must disable the inherit from parent option so the object provides its own compositing settings. Let's choose an ID and add it in the render sets list in the render panel. We will choose PNG with embedded alpha this time. Let's draft render again and when done, drop the resulting image over the original image, to see how it docks in perfectly. In this scene we might also auto assign IDs per material and the result would be similar. We will explore more examples in future videos. This is all for now. See you next time. Have fun rendering with Maverick.